Welcome to Single Parent Success Stories. Today's guest is Sunny, who is from Indiana. And Sunny originally from Taiwan. She has lived in the U.S. for more than 30 years through her east-west navigation journey. She has been transformed from a molecular biologist into an intuition age life strategist. Sunny is a single mom of two grown children. And it gives me a great pleasure to have Sunny here with us today. Welcome, Sunny. Thank you. Thank you, Arina. Um, I am just so glad I have a chance to meet you and also maybe share my journey with all the powerful, amazing single mother. For me, it's a learning ground. I don't trap by the title because, you know, we are different. So we are not single mother. You know, we are not anything. You know, we are just limitless, right? right. So I just think a single mom is such a great uh, role for a while. We shouldn't use that to limit ourselves. Glad to be here. Yeah. So please uh, share with us, how did you become a single mom? Was, it, was this a conscious decision? Was it an accident? Uh, share with us. Well, I would think about, uh, right now, I, I think I, I choose to be um, because I think I need to reserve my energy to raise my kids. And in that time, I feel I have a three kids. Oh. And, <laughs> and I think I have enough for two and I need to have my career. <laughs> so I choose to do that. But it's not really the ugly kind of a thing because we both know something's not work out well. Um, but we do want to raise kids the right way. And I don't really block him to visit my kids, but he always have some other things. So he's traveling around. He never be around for the kids. Even um, I have no intention to have problem with him to take them out. Um, I have a both side of role. I'm the father. I'm the mother. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm everything. Then later on, one of my kids, a younger one. When he was seven, he got diagnosed with a uh, condition, it's terminal. So I become a caregiver too. It, you know, so it's just a journey about single parenting and provider um, and become a caregiver. That gave me a lot of training. That's why I say, you know, we are being here for particular needs. We need to be strong first. We need to love ourselves more, right? So we can have more energy to help people around us because we have such a great uh, responsibility to raise the next generations. So we need to be strong. Yeah, totally. And I love that you mentioned that we have to love ourselves first because Mm. oftentimes, I don't know, the country I grew up in, uh, the mentality was once you have kids, you have to forget about yourself. (laughs) (laughs) Dedicate your life to your child. And I'm not saying it's bad, it's good, but we have to first take care of ourselves so that we can then give that energy to our children and yes. be present, be energetic, be happy. So they get the best part of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like the kids can see if we are happy, they feel like um, they don't have guilt. You know, I always just want to make sure my kids don't feel like because I cannot do anything because of them. Mm-hmm. And I just say, oh, I don't read mine. I, I like this, you know, <laughs> and I'm not lying. You know, I, I just try to adapt to the way we can all feel good. So mm-hmm. I don't need to take them out for vacation or travel and I'm stressed out myself. Right. I'm just like, let, let's go cook something. Let's just make some fun. <laughs> we don't need a vacation. We, we are here for fun. It's the same thing. Um, so um, I, I, I try to do whatever I can and let me feel there's nothing wrong with us, even their father is not around. What are some of the struggles you faced when you just became a single parent? Well, the first of the balance, right? How are you going to have a career and um, nobody home for you? And then you have a meeting, you have a kid's appointments and all the things you have to take care of it, Right. I think that's just the time for me is very challenged. And I think being a scientist helped because I can simultaneously do a lot of things at the same time because <laughs> I'm kind of overlapping of the, the test. So I'm not doing like linear, like, okay, doing this and I finished, I do it the other. I can initiate things like if I need to cook, I can 
prepare something's cooking when I'm doing something else. I have a school project and my younger son particularly has a lot of surgeries. And um, I, so I have to make a choice. I have to find something fit me right. other than to sacrifice myself to feed them. And I cannot do anything at home. Mm-hmm. So that I would say time and the flexibility is um, the early years when I start to do the single parenting really work on hard for this too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, totally juggling everything. And uh, <laughs> I like how you, you chose yourself to fit your lifestyle, not That I think that's incredible. If you were able, like, if you could go back in the past, what kind of advice would you give to your younger self? Well, it depends on how younger I want to go back to, right? <laughs> if like I would choose to you, be adult. When you became a single parent, like all those uh-huh. struggling with and managing everything, if you could go back to that version of you, what yeah, advice yeah, would yeah. you give her? I will say, focus on the moments. Don't worry about the future. You know, I'm almost 20 years uh, single mom and the caregivers, and I'm still here kicking, right? <laughs> I'm still happy. I can still have a smile. Um, but I have to say that time, I'm really struggling because, you know, there's so many things going on. And um, I didn't get uh, recognition at work too. But once I quit, and that, that changed it. <laughs> So I think I will give myself, it's just uh, trust the process and um, see what you can do. Don't, don't look something you don't have because we're going to waste a lot of energy, try to do something or be someone when we are, have other obligation or other priority, right? Because we all, if we want to compare, I, I always compare something too. Um, so I would say don't, comp- don't compare your time with other people because everybody's journey is different. And the second delay is to trust the process and know you have all the ability to become who you need to become. Then also try to find some fun mm-hmm. throughout the journey and love yourself more. Um, just like, you know, I never think of self-love is such an important thing until Recently, I said, wow, that make a difference, <laughs> right? If you start to fo- focus on yourself, your own happiness, your well-being, then you begin to have a more flexibility so you can solve problems even better. If we, we are not, we are just trapped in there. We, we cannot see the whole picture. So that, that's why I think I definitely will share that with myself when I just start a single parenting Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think, yeah, very important self-love and, you know, yeah, because we, we feel that we are trapped with the circumstances we are in, with the life that we have, and it's difficult mm-hmm. to pull out and kind of look at it from a different perspective, like yeah. what, and get, get the stuff that works for us so that we can uh, be uh, better parents in the long run yeah, yeah. life is a journey it's not like <laughs> a that you're always running and then you run yeah, out yeah exactly exactly and and, and actually th- when I just listen to myself and listen to you I think but wait a minute if I don't go through all the struggling I don't know what I you know so give ourselves some patience too if we're stuck in there let it stuck but <laughs> don't stuck too long <laughs> you know it's just Don't, don't push ourselves too fast and say, you know, I shouldn't be free. You know, I need to do something when we push ourselves and that actually the suffering getting longer because we don't give ourselves space and time. So now I think what the other thing I was, you know, just, just go through with it. Don't feel like <laughs> why, why you need to go through it and become really, really upset. Um, yeah, just, just be in presence, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah what do you think is is the most important trait to instill in the child well i believe there's there will be they should be responsible for themselves like you know we are just providing right like we cannot provide everything they need but they need to know what they want And they can be, you know, even the kids, they're very smart. They just didn't know how to say it. 
So I will think about if I can, um, I'm not sure I do the right thing for my kids, but I think if I can go back to the education side of, to raise my kids, I will want them to know um, we are not perfect. So I'm not expecting you are become a perfect kid, but you need to let me know what thing you want or something you don't feel good, we can communicate. So I would say just open and let them to know they have options. They have to communicate. <laughs> I've been actually become a top right now. I, I So you see this kids has just become very not easy to communicate because they are, I don't know, maybe they don't really know what they want, first of all. And, and second, um, maybe they just confuse about their role. Sometimes the kids just absorb so many things, you know. So I think the kids is really smart. So if I can uh, raise them to be just responsible for yourself, you know, I'm okay. I don't need you to put my for me, but you need to be responsible for yourself. And I'm just providing you for what you need. And you need let me know. Be independent and communicative. I think very important point. I think it's <laughs> difficult now maybe to communicate because they're distracted by all the devices and all the electronics. Mm. Yep. And they're yep. not so connected. Everything is in this virtual <laughs> kind of thing. And I feel like video games kind of stop their imagination because it's so right there in front mm. of them. And exactly. it's like that connection level, that human heart-to-heart -heart connection that you would have otherwise if you didn't have all that interaction all the time. Yeah, yeah, that remind me, I'm like, um, the time I grow up, I mean, in Taiwan, so my parents, they migrate from China, so they have nothing. So they only have a way to raise us by doing hard work and all that. Um, but because that, we have space. They just let us out run because we don't have money to, you know, send it to Lumpiano and those kind of things. So we just kind of wire on the street and we communicate with other kids, mm -hmm. right? And we argue, of course, we argue, we, we doesn't want it, but let's always have some way to make it happen because we don't have a toys. We have only friends, right? So if we don't have good relationship with the friends, we have nothing. <laughs> so that teaches us to really just focus on how to say it and, and recognize their feelings. So we don't say anything too harsh and hurt other people or just because we want. But, but through fighting, we learn how to communicate. <laughs> what do you want to be remembered by? Oh, Okay. Well, um, just like my name, you know, Sunny. Um, actually, my Chinese name is similar like Sunny too. Um, the Pei Ming is mean like the little flower and then when open up, they bring the brightness to the world. So, and my last is Sun. So that's how I make the Sunny as a neat name. I just need to honor my name given by my parents. I will continue to blossom and share the warmth and the happiness and the lights with people know me and just like the sun, we don't really choose where to shine people, right? We, we might have a shadow, <laughs> we can have a shadow on something, but usually we don't choose, okay, I get more light for this one, <laughs> less light for that one, right? We just shine through the whole thing. Um, so that's how I want to be. Please share with us what is exciting in your life. What is a, like a fun project? What are you excited about right now? Um, because I'm a miracle biologist and um, I also learned so much about this genetic and also the profile through the DNA. And so what I really like to do is to combine my science and also my own journey. I want to bring lights to people. So, and I can really just go to put things together and to help single mom, caregivers, and everybody, maybe they have some kind of stock right now after me life. I'm thinking about, I collect all the information from science and my own uh, journey. And also I know about, we all have the choice. Our attitude really matters. So when you put together, we can actually live longer we can actually create more of the things, a better life because we are resilient. 
we are adaptive. We are、uh, more of the compassion because we we've been through things. We can put all together to become a much better ourselves. So that is my 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 project. I want to connect as many as people. They are through some ups and down in life, but they also think about how I can use that that quality, that that resilient, that adaptive, and、um, all the things I learned through my journey. So I want to be a part of the collaborator with people like that. And I share with them. You actually, yes, go ahead. Go ahead to have a stronger DNA. <laughs> Then you can shine through. You can be a powerful things. You can be a role model for other women too. So that is my、uh, passion from now on. I love it. I love it.、Uh, I approach it kind of not so scientific, but also in the sense that for people who lost hope in life,、mm-hmm. how to. Follow your dreams again. How、yeah. to be excited about living, dreaming, and growing, learning, and、mm-hmm. taking in the present moment. And just, yes, yes, just like you said, you know, opening up and being here, and be excited about living, and not let your life pass you by. But that's grow, right. Do the things that you know are makes you happy. Do the things that excite you, so you have life worth living. <laughs> That's right. You know, we we come here to win. You know, all these procedures or situations is just like it was the chance to learn more skills. And once we we go through it, we face it courageously. We learn skills, and then that's time for us to really to shine. And.、Um, I I just want people to see that you know we we are not coming here to suffering at all. It sounds like suffering, but we all know there's a two side of the story. When if you're suffering, you always have some gain. You lose and gain is always together,、right. and that's how we maybe give first, but we're gonna receive more. <laughs> Love that point that everything yeah has two sides and oftentimes we only see one side the one、mm-hmm. we are on and we don't see the other side because <laughs> we are inside our problem or inside of our kind of shell that forces、mm-hmm. us we need to re- rethink <laughs> yeah that's the shadow about you know the lights the reason we can see shadow because the lights on the back、mm-hmm. so they all come together we cannot really see our shadow without light right. We're totally in the dark. Who's going to see shadow? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, yes. So, please share. What kind of advice would you give to single parents? Well, I think I kind of mentioned、uh, so many things throughout this、uh, the conversation here. It's just give yourself time and pamper,、mm-hmm. and love ourselves. That's I'm also a tiny habit coach. One of the type of the habits called pearl habits. What happening? You know, the pearl is happening with the 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 sand and that the the claim hated, right? But they coated and coated become a glossy pearl. So it's the same thing. So whenever the situation we don't like or we got feel stuck, love yourself more, and nurture it, and nurture it. See, that's how eventually the pearl will form. So we have this chance for us to nurture ourselves. So whenever something trigger you.、Mm, Do something you love to do right away. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the the things really help me out. To yeah, if you, this this guy give me this this, I love myself more and more. So where come to give me more all the things is I can love myself more, right? So、right. then you can get out things easy. And the other is just um, um, think about all the lessons and you you learn and show gratitude. Right, you know, we have a chance to become better self, but the source, your emotions or your difficult people or your kids, even <laughs> they all come in to give you this trigger, and so we need to show gratitude about everything we feel because nothing is wrong. It just just let us to know we need to pay attention to certain things. So, single mom or single parent, yeah, it's challenging. It's a lot of work, but it it is also it, it's a blessing. So we know we have potentials. We can do we、really、flip whatever that happened to us, and when we really accept who we are, 
then the opportunity will come. Maybe you will have another um, partner showing up a certain way, or you will have a thriving business, or um, you know, you you just become somebody you don't know, but it's in a good way. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So what is that thing that you do when something, uh, you know, triggers you? What is that happy thing that you do for yourself? Oh, cooking. Cooking. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I if I feel like I have nothing feeling right, I have two things to do, reading or cooking. Okay. So the reading, if I'm not the right time to eat, I, I, I don't cook. Because if I cook, I want to eat, right? <laughs> so I read books. So reading, but when the most happy moments in my time is cooking. Because I connect with all the food and I usually use different colors. So I have this visual trigger about color. Then I appreciate the sun, the air, the water to, to grow those food for me. Then... Then I chop it and I think I remember my mom because she never go outside work. She's always stay home mm-hmm. taking care of us and then she loved to cook. So they can give me back to that childhood. Wow, smells so good. You know, those kind of memories. So then I would start to say, hey, you know, I'm lucky. So that is why I like cooking because there's so many connections with nature, my parents and myself because I'm doing right. cooking for my family. Right. So that really gave me grounded and feel that's the highlight of my time. <laughs> I think it's good. I recommend everyone to practice 10 minutes of joy every day. Yeah. To, yeah. To sustainable degree of happiness. You know, like we brush our teeth and to keep oral hygiene in check. If you mm-hmm. want to have a happiness level in check, practice yeah. 10 minutes yeah. of joy. Yeah, just celebrate anything. Anytime you you feel done, just say, "Hey, I'm here. I'm doing all I can. Celebrate. I'm 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 strong. Just say something good to ourselves, and um, you, you will see that change you. Just a little win, just a little boost. You don't need to win the lottery to feel happy. You just maybe pick up five dollar on the ground. Hey, I am five dollar rich, right? <laughs> Then you celebrate. <laughs> then you can you can feel much better, you know, don't stuck in this oh, you know, where I can turn my life around. Well at the time we'll be here. No need to look for it, it will come. Right, right. If people would like to connect with you more, where would they find you? Um, I think if I can drop my um link train link with that and the people can see I have all this uh, different connections there I love it I think it's about quality of life yeah it's exactly. not the fact that you need to lose anything or gain anything but do you want to have a life that you're healthy you feel good you're excited you're energetic <laughs> for the long run not just right now like or I need to lose weight because I'm going to a wedding or something but to have that longevity, long, beautiful quality of life. So I love that. It sounds very good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So thank you so much for coming on, sharing your story, offering your advice and struggles you face. And I think it's important, you know, to mention many times self-love and be, being patient with ourselves. Because oftentimes we see challenges and we think there is no uh, solution and we jump to conclusion immediately but (laughs) patient with yourself and practice self-love I think that's very important so thank you so much I really appreciate having you thank you thank you for having me yeah just take care of ourselves you know we are not single parenting we are the super parent (laughs) 